Hello, how do we solve for k in this equation? Solution, we have k minus 2 to the power of 4 equal to 6 to the power of 4. The first step we are going to take is to transfer this guy to the left side. So we are going to have k minus 2 to the power of 4 minus 6 to the power of 4 equal to 0. Now, let's break down each of these guys. This guy could be written as k minus 2 to the power of 2 times 2 minus we can also rewrite this guy as 6 to the power of 2 times 2 equal to 0. Now recall that whenever we have a to the power of 2 minus b to the power of 2 is equal to a minus b times a plus b. Take note of this. Let's continue. By comparing this left hand side with this guy, you will observe that our a is this guy, k minus 2 to the power of 2, and our b is 6 to the power of 2. So this whole guy will now become this. What is a? This is a, k minus 2 to the power of 2, minus what is b? b is 6 square, times what is a? This is a, k minus 2 to the power of 2, plus what is b? b is 6 to the power of 2. Everything equal to 0. Let's proceed further. If you expand this guy very well, you are going to have k to the power of 2 minus 4k plus 4 minus 6 to the power of 2 is 36 times this guy. If you expand this guy very well also, you will get the same thing. So we have k to the power of 2 minus 4k plus 4 plus 6 to the power of 2 is 36 equal to 0. So we have k to the power of 2 minus 4k, 4 minus 36 is simply minus 32 times k to the power of 2 minus 4k plus 4 plus 36 that is 40 equal to 0. This implies that k to the power of 2 minus 4k minus 32 equal to 0 or k to the power of 2 minus 4k plus 40 equal to 0. Let's focus on this guy first. k to the power of 2, we can write minus 4k as minus 8k plus 4k minus 32 equal to 0. What is the common terms here? The common terms here is k. So when we pull it out, we are going to have k into k minus 8 plus 4 also we can pull it out. So we're going to have 4 into k minus 8 equal to 0. This implies that k minus 8 times k plus 4 is equal to 0, which in turn gives k minus 8 equal to 0 or k plus 4 equal to 0. So k is equal to 8 or k equals to negative 4. Our k1 is 8 and k2 is equal to negative 4. Now let us consider the second product equation, this guy. Let's solve this guy together. k to the power of 2 minus 4k plus 40 equal to 0. We can solve this using quadratic formula. So our a here is 1 and our b is negative 4 and our c is equal to 40. The quadratic formula says k equal to Minus b plus or minus square root of b to the power of 2 minus 4ac all over 2a. k equal to minus, what is b? b is negative 4 plus or minus square root of, what is b? b is negative 4, we have negative 4 to the power of 2 minus 4 times, what is a? a is 1 times what is c c is 40 all over 2 times what is a a is 1 k equal to minus times minus 4 that is 4 minus square root of negative 4 to the power of 2 that is 16 minus 4 times 1 times 40 that is 160 all over 2 times 1 that is simply 2 k equal to 4 plus or minus square root of 16 minus 160, that is negative 144, 
all over 2. K equal to 4 plus or minus. We can write this guy as square root of 144 times square root of negative 1 over 2. K equal to 4 plus or minus. Square root of 144 is 12. Square root of negative 1 is i from the couplet number. So we have 12i over 2. K equal to. It is possible to pull out 2. So we are going to have 2 into 2 plus or minus 6i over 2. K equal to. Clearly, this guy cancel each other. So we are left with 2 plus or minus 6i. From here, k is equal to 2 plus 6i or k equals to 2 minus 6i. So that means our k3 is equal to 2 plus 6i and our k4 is equal to what? Is equal to 2 minus 6i. This is the required solution for this interesting exponential equation. That's it. Thanks for watching.